Hi guys and welcome back to the Vicky Terry channel. This is a video especially for people with disabilities and also from the Monday this week coming, which is tomorrow, till the Friday, it is Leeds Learning Disability Week. I put a picture here. Yay! So and I'm going to do a video talking about having a learning disability and being proud of having a job because that's what the thing is. They're wanting people to do like videos. So if people do follow the Connecting the North on Facebook, I'll put the link or I'll put it in the description what you type in for your search engine, Connecting the North. And we've got stories on there. I think I first want to put one on and throughout the month we've put different people that are proud of things. So me, I'm proud of having a job. I've got, I don't know if you all know because when I did the video back in lockdown of um, Aspergus, which is Autism Awareness Month, about having autism. I've got autism. And I struggled to find employment. Yeah, I worked at the shop, brand near me, that's where my mum worked and knew me, so obviously I got in and that was fine. And then later on that come to an end, I got in at near London and then I found Connecting the North. They had some funding and they wanted to apply someone with a disability. So I worked there for a year because that's the only funding that they had available at the time. Worked there. So I waited six months, not came available funding wise. So the chief exec at the time, Cappy, approached me and said, Oh, why don't you be on our board? Be a board member, you'd be fabulous. So I did that. And then the original board member chair, Jonathan Butler, left because of other commitments in his life and what and that. And then I came the chair in 2011 and I've been the chair ever since. And I've done that and I still keep doing that because I enjoy it. And then I got the job at Mencap doing... Raising your game as a project support worker, doing that, working on that for five years, because it was a five year funded project, and that was fantastic because that was someone to work in Leeds with someone with a learning disability, which was me. I got chose, did that, which was fantastic. Shame it didn't carry on because that was a great thing that could have been all over, but things come to an end, unfortunately. And then I joined a program that Mencap did called Mencap Employ Me Service, which was a programme for people with disabilities work till retirement. They didn't at one time because it used to be called Future Pathways. So then I got that in there and got support help in finding a job. I did a couple of placements. One placement I did for Learning Disability Week in November, what they do with jobs and people with disabilities. I did that. Fortunately, that someone had the job there, so I couldn't go. Then I worked into a pub, but I didn't work. And then I was working at the college at the Beckett, no, Beckett University, did that. And then one day, the coach, Elliot, who I used to work with, was to support me getting a job, and do all searching and CVs and stuff, he comes to me and says, I've got your fantastic job opportunity. I said, what? You want to be working in Trinity Kitchen? I went, no way. He says, yeah, you want to be working in Trinity Kitchen? So I thought, oh my God. So I went for like a chat interview with managers and that's how I met Rosie and Roger. But off the Roger at their nights. New faces, like time to come and all that. So I got a job in Trinity Kitchen, doing one day a week, because I still had my other job at Mencap. So Mencap funding came to an end. So I said to the manager, I'm here full time. You can work wherever you want me, and it was all oh, good. And then someone, unfortunately, left the man, because she was having a baby, so I covered the eternity slot. And then someone else left on the mouth to have another job. So the contract came up, and I went for it. And I got the contract in on the mouth. But before that... I worked here, me, picture here. Trinity Kitchen doing one day a week, cleaning table and doing that. And then in 2015, I went on Mal, which is a picture there. Yay. And then after that, being on Mal since what? 2002? Yeah, 2002, December. And then I got shuffled, did a bit of shuffle relations because we're about doing some redundancies and what have you. So then now I work full time in the um, Trinity Kitchen. So if you're ever in there, guys, say hi. I work in there full time, 40 hours a week, doing 8 till 5 every day. And I'm proud to have a job because it we have a disability, yet it's hard and I find it challenging some days and it is difficult. We're having autism, and, but I juggle it and I, I get there. But I'm proud to have a job because. It gives me the independence to have my own money and not relying on handouts, which I don't mean that in your way, but I mean, I can have my own money and I can do what I want to do and 
yeah, I struggle, but we get there. We, so I have some good support network like my mum, my sister, and my nan granddad, and people that connect in and all from work. But yeah, and I'm proud to have a job, and I'm proud to work at Trinity Leeds. Been there since 2014. Started in December the 8th because I went for a one day interview beforehand, and then I went to work there, and it, it's been great. Done so well there, because like in 2015, I went with the big main boss, Steve Waitley, which is a bit cheer, and I got my customer service award. Yay! Went to London, met very nice people, and got my award there. Yay! So, that's how my journey's come. And I get, I still get opportunities and bits and bats, because I do my bit of volunteering, we're connecting and all, being on the share, being on the board. I mean, I do spots, but you might see me this week as well, because I'm doing the... Uh, Social event at the market, and I'm also doing the one up at the chambers at City Hall and the picnic on the Friday. So, if you do like these guys, keep tuned in for future content and subscribe. And I'll put the thing down at the bottom for connecting the North Facebook page name so you can actually type it into the search engine at top. So, thank you for now, guys. Yay.